Hey guys, so, for today's video, I'm going to guide you on how to install a character mod within a tire pack, and this time, it's not a default superstar. So let's get going. First and foremost, I've reset my entire meta and WWE 2K22 setup in order to properly show you how to install and set up meta this time in WWE 2K22's latest patch, 1.20. Before we go to the setup, my advice is to untick the Steam Cloud feature of your 2K22, as this has a conflict with what we're doing. As usual, extract these three files from baked file 0, just watch what I'm doing right here. After this, place them rightfully in the mods folder of yours. Mine was different because I didn't want to get confused and wanted them neat. Right after this one, set up your meta, or if it is already set up, then escape this one. Okay, so some of you tell me in the comment section that the meta unlock everything feature doesn't work in the latest patch, and I have no idea why because mine was working properly, you'll see once the baking is done. Okay, so I'm in the main screen right now, and as you can see, I only have one Rey Mysterio here, which means I have to unlock it by using the unlock feature of Meta. And now, make a change to, a kid, make a save. And as you can see, the unlock feature works even in the latest patch. If this does not work for you, it is likely that you did not properly patch your 2K22 using the game patcher or that you are using the public release version of Meta. Now, as an example in this tutorial, download my Kane 98 attire pack, the link is in the description. Once downloaded, open the zip file and extract the underscore mods folder in your 2K22 directory. Again, mine was different, which is why I double clicked the mods folder and extracted these folders. By the way, I also included my SDB file. This is optional, if you have an SDB file already in your mods folder, just copy the IDs in my SDB file and paste them into your file. Open the SDB editor and open the file. Watch what I'm doing on the screen right now. Once you're done, open the character profile table. My Kane 98 is using ID slot 110. Here's my two cents. If it's a character mod, set this to 10, but if it's a default superstar, it really depends on how many attire packs the modder will release. Because if you set this to 10 in a default superstar, you'll see in game a total of 10 attire sets, and one or some of them will not work. Again, it depends on the modder. Since my Kane 98 has a 6 attire pack, I already set it to 6 inside the profile. Ok, so once you're done, import my profile here and follow what I'm doing. Ok, so we're done here, let's bake the mods folder. Mine will take a long time since I have so many mods inside. Ok, so now I'm on the main screen. Open meta, and click prime memory. Just wait for it. Now, if this happens to you and inject memory isn't clickable, don't worry, this is a trick. Click your 2K22 screen, and click this top screen of meta, and voila, this is now clickable. Now click inject memory, click once, and click open. And it's successfully installed. Let's put it to the test in game. You look at Kane and you're looking at a tormented soul. A demon whose every attack is an assault on all of humanity. Kane is always searching for his next victim. Terror awaits. Now, as for me, see this graph? Please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will greatly benefit me and motivate me to create mods and tutorials for you guys, and also click that bell notification for more future contents.
Thank you so much for tuning in. This is ZPB. I'll catch you on the next one.